So you've been, yes. you, you've said many things about decisions and choices, and that's what I absolutely love because when thing when it comes down to it, no matter no matter what you go through, and I know some people go through many more hardships and tragedies and illnesses and things like that than others, but we could all probably agree that life is hard for us at, at many moments throughout life. The older you get, the more you realize that life is short and full of trouble, right? There's always, you know, whether every, COVID happened to everyone, they, you know, globally, uh, it wasn't just, you know, little places here and there or business or things, you know, come up now or your accident or an illness. Um, but what I really want to focus on is that choice. What, you know, you had every excuse in the world. That's what you said. That was such a beautiful statement. You had every excuse in the world to be a victim, to make excuses, to sit down and give up and be defeated and expect the world to um, come after you and, and, and help you. But instead you said, I made a decision. I made a choice. What do you feel like factored into that? Um, those choices that you've decided, okay, I don't want to be in a wheelchair the rest of my life. And even if I have some, some, um, disabilities or some illnesses or anything, I can still move forward. What do you feel like really empowered you to make a different choice? Okay, I can answer from two perspectives. One is the philosophy perspective. And the second one is my own personal choice. And I'm going to start with a philosophy perspective, just because I want people to understand this in a very deep level. And this comes from Asian Greek philosophy. There's and, and that's my take on it. But there's four levels of responsibility. Things happen to me. That's when things happen. Life happens. Events happen and I react. And I like reacting because uh, react is acting the same way. It's like turning in circles, right? Um, then the next stage, and in that stage, the world sucks. Things happen. COVID happens. The economy crashes. There's a war. There's an accident. There's a there's a storm, there is the climate change, everything is happening and it's happening to me and I have no control over anything and I feel completely lost and misguided. And the next step is things happen for me. And that step is through gratitude. So things happen for me. Well, you know what? The way I got of the wheelchair is to realize that, yeah, it sucks. And... I started looking at the things I was grateful for. In the beginning, it was hard. It was hard because it's like, oh my God. But I gained some things. I gained some things from that experience, right? I, I lost some things and I gained some things and I started feeling grateful for the things I gained. And like magic, the moment I really started feeling grateful, disease started not being so affecting me. And uh, in the beginning, as I said, it felt like a medical miracle. So I didn't quite place it in the, I did it. And uh, as I said, it took me eight years of accidents and diseases and things like that for me to, my life to be destroyed over and over and over and over again, to fall on the flat on my face, to, to lose everything over and over again until, until I realized that every time I was rebuilding and every time it was, was faster, better, easier. And I was like, huh, there's this method to this madness. And I realized this is not so random. So step one is um, make the choice. So like go from things happen to me. So to step two, things happen for me. Mm -hmm. And then after my near-death experience, I started observing. Remember, that's when I started seeing the awareness. And uh, that's when I started seeing as things happen. Because I'm like, well, let's see what happens. I wonder. And this is crucial as a step because that's what we call mindfulness that's what we call being in the moment in the now and uh, this step is for for those of you who are ready to feel happy the next step is to just stop judging stop saying this is good or bad be very zen about it. oh this happened okay oh this happened okay until i got to that stage where i am today where i literally live by life by choice by design by what I call being the creator. Life happens through me. So remember those four stages, things happen to me, things happen for me, things happen, and things happen through me. Mm. And the through me is really the level of the creator. Like that, that that's me playing and saying, I wonder what country is going to be fun to live in. And I wonder where it's going to be, who it's going to be fun to. And I keep manifesting this. And some of you may not be there yet now. now. So 
I'm telling you, if you live in the victim, the first thing to do is introduce gratitude in your life so you can go to the things happen for you. Make it up.